voice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord.
to be praised today and we reserve none of the praise for ourselves but we give it all unto God amen bless the name of Jesus get in the frame of mind to worship and anything and everything that may distract you today to get thee behind me Satan this is for me and my God hallelujah we worship the name of Jesus hallelujah he is high and lifted up glory be to God Hallelujah. Our oh, Father, Jesus, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, and thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Sing, O oh, Father, which art in heaven. We sing hallowed. Hallowed be thy name. Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Everybody want the will of God to be done. Say, oh, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. It's your worship, God. Thy kingdom come. And thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It's got to be done. today amen. we say amen. Amen. amen one more time amen, amen. it's his will and no other
have great expectations of you, Jesus. Worship the Lord of Lords. Worship the conquering lion. A 
of the tribe of Judah. Worship. He deserves to be praised. He deserves to be honored. He deserves to be lifted high. He is worthy to be praised. And if we truly have victory today, then we will rejoice in the God of our salvation for whom the Son has set free is free indeed. And we are no longer slaves to sin. We are no longer shackled by sin. Our shackles are broken. Somebody say, my shackles are broken. My shackles are broken. My shackles are broken. I'm no longer a slave to sin. My shackles are broken today. I am free to worship. I am free to lift my hands. I am free to say amen. I am free to say thank you, Jesus. I am free to worship the God of all ages. He is truly worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We do this one, this last one, and encourage your spirit. My shackles are broken you gotta be free today i am delivered my shackles are broken thank you jesus i've been set free one more time my shackles are broken. You gotta declare that in the atmosphere today that you're no longer bound. I am delivered. Yes, my shackles, they are broken. My shackles are broken. Thank God by his grace I am set free. One more time declare it. My shackles, they are
Yeah. 
are praising the Lord this morning and the glory of the Lord is filling our soul we're gonna rise above our troubles our problems rise above our situation from Spanish to Jamaica from Temple of Praise we're pleased today to bring you revival time as the man of God comes forward to read the word stay tuned and be blessed Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give God thanks for being in the house today. Somebody give him a worship. Somebody say, Lord. Somebody say, Lord, prepare me, equip me to be responsive to your word. Today I read the man of God's scripture reading for today's topic. His topic to you today is devil, bring back my stuff. Somebody said, devil, bring back my stuff. The scripture reading is taken from 1 Samuel chapter 30, reading from verse 1 to verse 8. And it reads thus. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day, that the Amal Amalekites had invaded the south, and Ziklag had smitten Ziklag and burnt it with fire. Verse 2, and had taken the women captives that th were therein. They slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went their way. Verse 3, so David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burnt with fire. And their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Verse 4, then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captives, Ahinoam, the Jezreelite, Jezreelites, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. Verse 6. David was greatly distressed, for the people spake, stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved. Every man for his sons and for his daughters, but David encouraged himself in the Lord. Verse 7. And David said to Abithar the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the ephod, the ephod. And Abithar brought thither the ephod to David. Verse 8. And appointed. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. Here ends the reading of God's holy word, and we sign it by saying thanks be to God. I bring to you a man and no other than Bishop Dr. G.G. Cooper. He's a shepherd. He's a man built for the end time. A prophet of God and the backbone of his word. I bring to you his message, devil bring back my stuff. I hand over to Bishop Dr. G.G. Cooper. Let's pray before we get started today. Remember, we're going to reroute and rise above every obstacle today. Remember, reroute your prayer Reroute your praise, reroute your worship, and rise above. My Father, we thank you for divine revelation, inspiration. Now manifest your word in your presence by the Holy Ghost. Let preaching be easy. Let revelation flow today. And let the people be receptive to divine inspiration. 
Bless our listeners on the network, Facebook, YouTube, television, radio land. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And everybody say amen. A bigger amen and a clap offering for the Lord. And be seated. You have heard the word of the Lord read in your hearing today by the man of God. And then we go cooking today. <laughs> Every one of us. Every one of us have had some stuff stolen from us. Every one of us have at times run into spiritual bankruptcy because of the intrusion of the enemy in your business. Some of us have lost loved ones, status or status. We have lost standing in God. We have lost privileges and recognition because the enemy has intruded in our business. The enemy's intention is to kill you. But he doesn't know that there is a restoration taking place in your life. As I see this morning and from my experiences over the past weeks, there's a spirit of revival. Not for the world. Not for the backslider. But for the people of the living God. There's a spirit of revival and there's a spirit of restoration taking place within people's life. I wish you would identify today. I wish you would identify today in spite of being bruised and wounded at the moment. Your praise is coming back. Your anointing is coming back. Your strength is coming back. And while the enemy is plotting your overthrow, while the enemy is plotting to gerrymanderize you and disgrace you and make sport and fun out of you they have overlooked that something is happening to you I wish you would identify yourself lady what are you playing quick and sharp quick and sharp the enemy is busily publicizing you, Samson. The enemy is busily waiting to disgrace you, Samson. The enemy is busily waiting to scandalize you, Samson. And to proclaim Dagon has given you into their hands but may I tell you I don't think you're getting what God gave me may I tell you my hair is growing back my strength is coming back my anointing is coming back I'm not about to die with you. I'm about to defeat you, denounce you, 
and destroy you because I prayed one prayer devil I've rerouted my prayer I've rerouted my prayer I've rerouted my communication I know I got messed up I know I sold out the anointing I know I slept with Delilah I know I've given her the keys of the kingdom but I've rerouted my prayer I've rerouted my worship and I said to the Lord remember me this once that I might be avenged of the Philistines for my two eyes and God has heard my cry and God has inclined to my suffering and God has inclined to my tears and to my sorrow and right now right now I'm not thinking about my eyes right now I'm not thinking about grinding corn right now I've rerouted my intention I've rerouted my praise I've rerouted my feeling and I feel my hair is growing back and God is answering my prayer and a fresh anointing is coming on my life my years of sorrow my years of pain my years of defeat my years of conflict is a bad over because I feel what you can sit down and prophesy prophesy to somebody this morning prophesy over somebody in radio land prophesy over somebody on the web your hair is growing back your anointing is about ready to come and you're about ready to kill some devils sit down let me talk to people in radio land let me bypass you and detour you're holding up my passage let me overtake you take back this time time has overrun and time is ripe and time is fulfilling for you to wake up out of your lethargy and out of your dead worship and out of your backsliding spirit and take back what belongs to you your walls may have been breached I say your walls may have been be breached and torn down but restoration is coming back to your temper I know you messed up and failed God but your season is about to change and you're not going to live there much longer where you are now where you are now is not conducive for worship where you are now is not conducive for the anointing where you are now is not a place that God can visit you but he's telling you something arise above your failure arise above your poverty arise above your feelings and take back the word a woman is take back the word up here is take back the word over here is take back the word over there is take back what rightfully belongs to you
My wife is mine. My children are mine. Things in Ziklog belongs to David. Call your name. Is Gigi stuff? Call your name. Woman, open up your mouth and call your name. Get on fire and call your name. It is Gigi stuff. And you have no right and no business to plunder my stuff. Devil, bring back my stuff. I'm coming up to you. My praise is coming up to you. My worship is coming up to you. My deliverance is coming up to you. For God said in Jewel 2 and 25, and I will restore to you beat your chest God is talking to you woman God is talking to you man I will restore unto you the years that the locusts have eaten and the conquer worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm he said my great army which i sent among you verse 26 and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name i said praise the name of the lord your god which i dwell wondrously somebody say wondrously open up your mouth behind me and let me hear you say he has done wondrously and i shall not be ashamed So devil, you won't bring shame and you won't bring disgrace upon my life, upon my bloodline. You won't shame me, so I don't come back to church. You won't shame me, so I don't come back to worship. You won't shame me, but I don't come back to prayer meeting. You won't shame me, so I don't sing on the praise team. You won't shame me, so I can't come back in the pulpit. You want to pull down my name, and trample my name, and belittle my name, and gerrymanderize my name. But God said, said devil, listen, listen to God talking. And God said, my daughter, my daughter call your name, my daughter Rebecca, my son tall man shall not be ashamed. Come on, some of you walking in shame and living in shame and worshiping in shame, but God is about ready to remove your shame. The, the, the word have gone out. The word have gone out. The enemy of me on TikTok. The enemy of me on Facebook. The enemy of me on YouTube. But God said, my people shall never be ashamed. God said, I tell you this morning that he's about ready to lift your shame he's about ready to lift your disgrace he's about ready to lift your failure is there anybody getting the word this morning in this house So devil, 
forget this and get it right. You can't mess up what God has blessed up and what God has anointed to live. You can't kill it. And what God has anointed to prosper, you cannot destroy it. Purpose is written all over my mind, all over my chest, and destiny to worship, destined to prosper, destined to praise, destined to overcome, destined for overflow, destined for prosperity, destined for hope of God. Come on somebody, I prophesy, come out of the downhill, come out of your despair, come out of your poverty and loneliness, your breakthrough, your breakthrough is today. Sit on the wall. Palmer worm. These diabolical insects. Say, devil, you're an insect. You're lost in heaven. You're lost at the cross. And you're going to lose again in the millennium. And in this present world, you're going to lose again. So everything you're doing and trying, your name spent loser. The bottomless pit is waiting for you and your demons. These diabolical insects, which are demons, are destructive pestilence that is come to devour you and to wipe out your harvest. You know why many of you are not having an harvest? It's because of this, these diabolical destructive devils. Listen. Listen, palmer worms usually eat the fruit of a tree. And the palmer worm has eaten your fruit. And there's no harvest in your life. Locusts usually eat the leaves of the tree. Conquer worm eats the bark of the tree. Caterpillar sucks the life out of the tree. And God said you are his tree. And you got some suckers in your bloodline. You got some suckers maybe sitting beside you. And some suckers at your workplace, and some suckers in your in your in, in the church, uh, waiting to eat your food, uh, suck you out, uh, eat your bark, uh, and leave you stranded, just stranded. But tell the enemy, I shall not be left stranded. Uh, tell the enemy, you shall not devour me. Tell the enemy. I shall spring again, spring again. I don't hear one thing you're saying. can 
and still they don't get what I said today it may never come back in 10 years like this again you know what is happening to your life the palmer worm has come in and the locusts have come in whatever shape or form stay with me the holy ghost is dangerous today conquer worm caterpillar whatever they are and whoever you are and wherever you're coming from and whatever form you're coming in god said i shall not woman you can sit down there behind me and sit down cozy over there but i'm affirming the word i'm declaring the word over my ministry over my life i don't care what you want to do i'm telling the devil you got to buy You know why I'm so emphatic and prophetic? It's because God said it. And God is His Word. And His Word is God. Numbers 23, 22. If He said it, He will do it. Woman, you can't receive it because the palmer worm and the conquer worm is still there but God said if I said it I will do it and if I spoke it I will bring it to pass Say I, say I, believe God. Say I, will respond to end time restoration and end time traveling and end time revival. Because if God said it, He will do it. And if He spoke my breakthrough, He will bring it to pass. Is there preachers behind me affirming the word of the living God? And God said in Malachi 3.11 I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. So when I plant my seed and plant my offering and my tithe and my first fruit God is about ready to kill some stuff God is about ready to kill some conquer worm and some palmer worm and some caterpillar hanging around my ministry, hanging around my anointing, hanging around my personality. And God said, Gigi, you shall never be ashamed. So the time has come in the feel of my life when God is about to do something miraculous and stupendous you can check me out and you can watch me but change is coming a revolution is coming a transformation is coming God is about to do something in my life that hasn't been done for a long time for a long time i've been living in shame and a long time i've been disgraced for a long time i've been 
step down and walking upon for a long time I've been cold lukewarm eating the periphery and picking up crumbs but devil hear me good in social media land God said the time is ripe and the hour is ripe when I'm commissioning you to pursue I hear the Holy Ghost say pursue and overtake that sucker is holding up your line that demon is in your way pursue and overtake Man, you hear what God said? Man, you hear what God said? Church, you hear what God said? And David inquired it's time church to inquire get up off your dead feet and inquired getting some fasting personally and inquired from the Lord am I gonna live like this the rest of my life uh, am I gonna be poor and destitute for the rest of my life am I gonna be the black sheep in my family Am I going to come to church without a praise and a worship? And the Lord said, pursue. Pursue. Woman, I said, God is talking to you. And he said, get up and pursue. There's a troop out for your life. There's a troop. I've collected your blessing. Your miracle and your breakthrough. And they are bundled it. I said they are bundled it. Tight up. And tight down. There's a devil. Who have tied up. And bundled up. Your breakthrough. God said there's a troop that has come in your life. There's a troop that has come in your bloodline. And a bottle up your miracle. Tie it up and put it down. And today, all nations should be calling Israel blessed. But there are nations around the world who are about to cut diplomatic relations and call Israel wicked and evil because of Gaza God said all nations shall call you blessed come on now devil you think I'm going to get into that situation you think you're going to pin me down and tie me down have your feet in my neck call me a zero and declare me a zero and declare me a nothingness all my life you think men gonna trample my body and use my body you're making a mistake God said I will rebuke woman affirm it I will rebuke what? did it fall? what? rebuke what? did it fall? did it fall? your neighbor tell your neighbor God said I'm going to rebuke the devourer in your life take me up son feel the Holy Ghost rebuke stop stop use your right hand say devil stop abusing me 
Stop abusing me. Stop misusing me. Stop trembling me. Stop devouring me. Stop. I don't hear you say that. I don't hear you say that. Devil, bring back my stuff. I used to see dreams and vision. Bring it back in my life. I used to could discern demonic spirits. Bring it back. My wife was talking this morning. There were some gifts manifesting in her life. But she's pondering and wondering. Come on, somebody. Just like some of us, there's an anointing that used to be resident in your life. You could just meet people and tell who they are, but you got mixed up with the wrong crowd. And you don't spend no time with God. There are times when you could discern and see and analyze and interpret and preach with the preacher but lately them gifts kind of disappear lift up your right hand and declare every gift that used to manifest in my life by the power of the Holy Ghost is coming back do like this is coming back my money is returning restoration reinforcement is coming back said devil carry back the money into my bloodline poverty you're going out poverty you're going out disgrace you're going out shame you're going out disorder disorder you're going out confusion confusion you're going out dissemination dissemination of the factor you're going out time of restoration time for my overflow time for my breakthrough and break out time of a refreshing time of a renewal time of a change woman open up your spirit time of a revival time for big money big money big money coming back into my pocketbook Time to come out to rent house. Say, woman, you're living the too long. Say, you're living the too long. Time of a change of residence. You ain't got no faith. My technician walk up to me. And so put this key in your in your vest. I see a house. It's for so and so. I'm going to offer so and so. Put this in your vest pocket. While you're preaching, they know what I'm going to preach. So I got a house in my vest pocket. What do you have in your spirit? What do you have in your mind? You have lived in rent house and poor pauperizer for too long. The earth belongs to your daddy and the fullness thereof. Tell the enemy I'm a father's child. Bring back 
to give back something or, or someone to his rightful owner you and woman don't listen to nothing more tell the devil I am the rightful owner of my father's property go ahead and get crazy Synonymous, synonymous, return it. Hope my mouth beat your chest, the devil return it. Point your finger on your hand, your ten finger in the atmosphere and say, devil, return it. Devil, restore it. Devil, reinstate it. Reinstall it. Carry it back. One more time, I'm going over it. Return it, restore it, reinstall it, carry it back. Go ahead, woman, I'm talking to you. Sit down there, brother. Just sit down there. It might be five years with till I preach this again. When you feel God in the house on a special Sabbath morning, and when there's a special infusion, and a special anointing, and a special revelation, and a special preaching, you better reach out and grab it. Tell your neighbor, grab the word. And David got messed up and he started to pray. Psalm 51 and verse 10 creating me a clean heart, oh my God, and renew. The word is renew, church family. The word is renew. Beat your chest, you're too lazy. Tell God renew a right spirit within me. You've been having a wrong spirit and a devil hell spirit for too long. One more time, tell the Holy Ghost renew a right spirit. Cast me not away. Verse 11 from thy presence and take not the Holy Ghost out of my ministry the Holy Ghost is gone out of your home out of your life and you come at church and make trouble every week but today God said pray this prayer renew Verse 12, Psalm 51, here it is, restore, that's why I tell you God is in the business of restoration, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, God is in the business of restoration, restore unto me, give me back some joy of my deliverance and uphold me with your free spirit. Go ahead and tell the Lord. Restore. Restore my joy. Restore my praise. I used to be one of them up there with the bishop 
I find myself down at the back criticizing, writing notes and chatting. Restore my joy, restore my praise, restore my anointing, restore my gifts, stir up the gift, stir up my gift. Holy Ghost of God, open your mouth and talk what the bishop tell you. Holy Ghost of God, restore, stir up my anointing, stir up my gift, gift of discernment, gift of miracle, gift of healing, gift of a victory, stir up my gift, gift of revival, gift of restoration, gift of a sea true, gift of a discernment, stir up the gift. My health be devoured. My health you have devoured. My money you have scammed. My marriage you have destroyed. My home you have wrecked. My children you led them astray. My dreams you have killed. My anointing you have messed up my peace you have scattered my possession you took it my car you damage it my career you ruin it my joy you spoil it but i'm telling you now under the anointing bring it back good call the church oh hear me the church gone to sleep they're not following revelation bring it back every single one every single one every single one every single one bring it back Your enemies are not watching your restoration. And they're not watching your restorative power. That is inside of you. That God is about ready to kindle faith preaching. You got to believe when a preach woman preaching is not words, it is faith. You bury alive, but I shall spring again. You bring in your saw, you bring in your saw, you bring in your hammer, you bring in your chisel. These are destructive forces. You plunder, you rape, you ruin, you trample, you disgrace. But God said, I shall spring again. burn your life with the tongue like Job three friends you're in the church you say you're the bishop friend friend don't talk friend friend don't gerrymanderize and spread friend friend don't gossip about your friend friend love your friend that's why you're my special friend belonging to temple of praise you're my special friend online
Watch this. I'm gonna drop a bomb. I'm gonna drop a bomb. So in January, when the gerrymanderize me, come on, preacher man. And them look a fool. Them look a fool. Come in my church and watch my business. And put technology to it. And those who were my friends that used to come here eat with me, whom I pray out of hell and pray death all for them and give them publicity and make people know them, they left me. Some of them talked about me, gerrymanderized me, scandalized me. But little did you know that you don't control my destiny and you don't control my purpose and you don't control my ministry so you can go to hell if you want to say I, I'm spreading my wings could cut open up I'm spreading my wings I'm rise 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 Can I tell you something? Sister Cooper, you get tired. I'm driving you up, I'm driving you down. I'm preaching, I ain't get tired. Can I tell you something? I said, Can I tell you a secret? Can you keep a secret in your heart? For the secret of the Lord is with them that fear Him. I got a secret declaration to tell you. You shall spring again. One, God say you shall grow again. Two, God say you shall rise again. Three, God say you shall shine again. Four, and this one said this one said this one i don't hear what you're saying woman don't get me on the other side i said this one speak it in the atmosphere my best days are ahead of me And lastly, everybody open your mouth and say, lastly, restoration is coming back to me. And you will bring back my stove. Go ahead and worship, woman. Feel the atmosphere. Feel the heavens, feel the heavens with declaration, declaration. Feel the atmosphere. Bring up the mic, bring up the mic, deacon in the middle. One, did David retrieve his tub? Did David catch up with the enemy at the brook of Bizar? Tell the enemy at the brook of Bizar, wherever that is, whatever that is, at the brook of Bizar, I shall catch up with you. I shall beat you silly. I shall trample you. I'll put my feet in your neck and take back my stuff. 
stuff, my stuff, my stuff, my stuff. shall return my sight shall return my hearing shall return my heartbeat shall return my sugar level shall return my blood pressure shall return my healing from a hovering from a womb shall return children shall conceive I shall give birth to my Samson I shall give birth to my Samuel I shall give birth to my Isaac brother you know what excited about it prophesy 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 over your own self. Judges chapter sixteen, verse twenty two, and I close on revival time for this week. How beat the hair of his head began to grow again after, after he was shaven. Stand everybody. Say devil, devil, after you shave me and rape me and trample me and cut me down and shut me up, you forget as you get ready to disgrace me in the hall of shame and to make a sport out of me you have overlooked one thing that God is doing in my life that my hair my spiritual life my spiritual growth I don't hear one thing you saying my spiritual growth my spiritual life my spiritual testimony is coming back lift up a man praise to the most high drop your hands everywhere get up out of that chair get up off of that bed get up from around that table Drop your hands, my father, my father, you said I shall never be ashamed and the enemy shall not devour my life. I'm coming back, my strength, my anointing, my praise, my victory my salvation my deliverance is coming back my money is coming back restoration is coming back in the name of jesus christ of Nazareth. amen amen i'm out of time but not out of revelation until next week about the same time when we bring you revival time your man of God, Brother Gigi, along with my musicians, technicians, those in the house and those online. Thank you for being with me today.
of the living God. your hands and feel the anointing. Clap your hand and pull down the blessing. Clap your hand and bring down the glory cloud. 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 driving up this morning He's thinking about my life I reflect and I said I'm called after Joshua Joshua Jeremiah Cooper Joshua is an hundred and twenty years and his natural strength was not abated and I shall live to bury my enemies I shall take your funeral and I shall outlive you. Declare strength of days. Declare, lift up your hands and declare strength of days. Help, 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 and come and help, and come and strength, and come and favor, and come and worship, and come and preach it. And come and testimony. Go ahead and lift up our worship. While we were praying, to hear the Lord's the church is coming back. I say, I hear the Lord saying, church is coming back. Yes, Why you live in a good night's house and God should dwell? Some of you not hearing what God is saying, but I'm hearing. I hear the Lord saying, listen carefully. I shall live to give. What are you saying over there? What are you playing over there? I said, I shall live to give. That's what I said. Again, again, if you don't believe it, your business, Brother Gigi Lord, most die, Brother Gigi, believe you, I believe God, I believe God. Concerned with you on the altar, I'm concerned about you. Go ahead, son. There's an unusual preaching today, an unusual reaching out, an unusual worship. I hope there's an unusual faith believing. And for the next weeks in the month of November, that's where we're going to be. Hour of restoration. 
my son was asking me how did you come to call the program revival time I said at the beginning it was not revival time it was the hour of restoration but as I travel along God call it revival time come on somebody open up your mouth tell the devil revival time in my life in my life in my church, in my bloodline, in my house, revival time. Many would like to steal it. It's uncommon. And some of you got broadcast. You don't have no name for it. For God didn't give your name. Doing COVID, God give us a verse that kept nations alive. Fear not, you shall not die. You never heard another preacher with it. They can't preach it because God didn't give them. But secret, secretly they copied it. Secretly they quoted. Secretly they accepted it. Somebody lift up a praise. Say out loud in the spirit. Revival is coming to my life. Revival is coming to my home. Revival is coming to my bloodline. Revival is coming to my marriage. To my relationship. To my singleness. Revival is coming to my liberty, my liberty, my liberty. Come on, child. Come on, child. Come on, child. Are you ready to pray? Ready to pray? Yes, somebody shout yes. Somebody, somebody shout yes. Yes to your miracle this afternoon. Yes to your healing this afternoon. Somebody shout yes, 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 yes. For your days of struggling is too long. You have struggled for too long. The enemy have held you down for too long. The enemy have held you down for too long. Your blessing has been stolen from you for too long. I said your blessings have been stolen from you for too long hallelujah and today somebody said today somebody said today today is your day of restoration today is your day of healing today is your day of miracle today is your day of breakthrough Today is your day of revival. Somebody shout yes. Somebody shout yes. Somebody shout yes. Give him a praise. Today is your day of victory. The enemy have seen your tears for too long. Your crying tears are over. I said your weeping days are over your weeping days are over your days of nothingness are over your days of being barren is over somebody shout today somebody shout today 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 I break your chains devil I break your bonds devil I break your bonds satan I break your bonds satan I break every rope, I break every fetter, I break every chain, everything that is said to bind you. You have been ashamed for too long, and I can tell you, as I stand from this pulpit, I can decree and declare the enemy. 
has brought me some shame. I said, the enemy has brought me some shame. Some sleepless nights. Some nights where I think that I wouldn't get my deliverance. I said, the enemy has brought me some sleepless nights. The enemy has brought me to shame. People spread my name in negativity. Good God Almighty. And the enemy thought, I said, the enemy thought that you would come back. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? The enemy thought that you would come back from your struggles. The enemy thought that you would come back from your setbacks. The enemy thought that you would come back after they bury you in the mud. I said they bury some of you in the dirt. Oh, tell the enemy. Tell the enemy. Tell the enemy. Today is my day of revival. Today is my day of recovery. I said today is my day of restoration. You're going to receive your joy. I said you retrieve your joy. Retrieve your happiness. Retrieve your finances. Who am I talking to? Retrieve your marriage. Who am I talking to? Retrieve that bank account. Who am I talking to? Retrieve your house. Retrieve your car. Retrieve. Somebody said pursue them. Pursue them. Devil. You have had my stuff for too long. I said devil. You have had my stuff for too long. You have taken my joy for too long. And I'm going to retrieve. Somebody pursue after the enemy. Pursue after the enemy. Pursue after the enemy. Pursue after the enemy. Overtake them. Somebody say retrieve. 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 Somebody say retrieve. Somebody say retrieve. Retrieve everything the enemy has stolen. Retrieve your joy. Retrieve your peace. Retrieve everything the enemy has taken from you. Retrieve your marriage. Retrieve. Retrieve. Take back time. Somebody say take back. Take back. Take back everything from the enemy. Has stolen. First you. First you. First you. Never. I'm gonna catch up. I'm gonna catch up at the cliff of Pizza. At the cliff of Pizza. And I'm gonna take back. Take back everything. Say everything that the enemy has stolen. I take it back. I take it back. I declare and decree. I declare and decree. Spiritual restoration restoration over every person over every person in front of me over every ministry over every family i receive i receive restoration over my family i receive restoration over my joy over my tomorrow every person every ministry every person every personality in front of me i declare and decree Spiritual restoration, spiritual restoration is yours right now. Every satanic activity that has been concocted in my life, every satanic activity has been conceived, every satanic activity conceived in the mind of my enemies. I speak spiritual interference, spiritual interference. In the name of Jesus Christ, every satanic activity, every satanic activity that has been concocted by my enemies, 
I speak interference. Touch your neighbor and say interference. Come on, interference. Interference. Spiritual interference. In the name of Jesus Christ. Interfere, Lord. In the plans of my enemies. You're not praying, you're not praying, you're not praying. Interfere, Lord. In the plans of my enemies. And recover, Lord. Recover, Lord. Everything the enemy has stolen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Interfere. I feel a change falling. I feel a change falling. Pick it up. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Oh, there is power. Lift your hands, woman, in the name of Jesus. You have to be renewed. Renewed daily. Fresh anointing. As to come upon Brother Gigi to lead the body of Christ. To lead nation. My, my nation needs a word. So I depend on the Lord for fresh anointing. So I don't come bankrupt and get stale with the devil's foot in my throat. I hear the change falling. Come up to your seat singing. I hear the change falling. I hear. The chains falling, and I'm caught in truth. Cause I, 
What folks do Hold your belly And I Take myself Thank you for the tip Oh, with a word Hold it right there, right there Despise then I'm started started with Jesus come on go with you Started with Jesus. Lord, and I go, go into. Yes, Lord. Whoa, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Shout it from the mountain top. Proclaim it in the city street. Tell everybody you meet. Tell everybody you see. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Yes, he's coming. Jesus is coming again. Oh, tell it from the mountain top. Proclaim it in the city street. Sing it everywhere you go. Tell everybody you meet. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Yes, he's coming. Jesus is coming again. Oh, shout it from the mountain top. Burn it. Proclaim it in the city street. Sing it everywhere you go. Tell everybody you meet. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Yes, he's coming. Jesus is coming again. and your offering anything you have concerning finance for God today is a special anointing whether you won't believe it and sit down for the, your trouble I'm not concerned about you I'm preaching what God gave me to preach fresh anointing is on your finance Fresh anointing is coming in your darkened prison cell. I don't know what means they use, but this word is getting in darkened prison cell. There's a faith coming alive. I said, faith coming alive. On your offering. 
We need a revival. We need a revelation. Some of you in the church making up numbers, but you're not helping me. When microphone, you take mic and shot, but you're not helping me. You're not feeling my pain and my burden. You're not carrying my destiny and my purpose. You're not signing with the preacher. You're not bearing my struggle. Life is a struggle. I said life is a struggle. The ministry is a challenge. And we have to make it. Say we got to make it. Mother Wright, welcome today. All the old timers. Take it off to me. God is renewing my strength. Brother Gigi, not going over. I'm not going under. I'm going over. Brother Gigi's not crippled. He's leaping over walls. And running choo choo. Fresh praise. Fresh anointing. Fresh unction to function. And I want the congregation to grasp it. Grasp it. I shall rise with fresh power, fresh energy, fresh oil. Next week we won't pick up from Psalm 92. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. We're going to deal with them stale oil. We don't want no stale oil in them, in them fast food place fry the stuff that God has for you the stuff that God has for you this hour cannot be fried in no stale oil an overnight oil and so when I went down when I went down the other day to little OJ I said I want my fish with fresh oil don't fry my fish with no stale oil. That just fry your stale stuff. I want a fresh oil on my body for pain and blindness and old age. You stealing our that gaita, God kill that gaita. Chop it off your neck. Tell me what God can do, woman. Have faith in God. When I anoint you, he kill that gaita off your neck. Kill that cataract off your eye. Dry it up and dry it up. Woman, you come for prayer, you should be leaping out here. If you don't get deliverance during my preaching and praying, don't matter come. You understand the ministry that I carry while I preach and pray. Miracles happen. I don't have to touch you. And because you're not under this ministry, that's why you don't have the faith that I build up. So you see some kind of Christians coming here. They don't have the anointing you have. And they don't have the faith. And they don't come up under the spell that you come up on. When you say be healed. Open. 38 years. Too long. For me to be at the pool. 12 years. Too long. For me to be bleeding. Talk to yourself, woman, as a talk. 38 years too long. 12 years too long. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I want a right now miracle. Take off the roof. Let him down. And Jesus said, man with the withered hand. He said, man with the withered hand. Stretch it out. Whatever you have in your body, whatever bothering and troubling you, be healed by the power.
power of God. Be delivered by the power of God. Be set free by the power of God. But because you don't have no faith. So we're going to have him. What's your problem, man? What's your problem? God said, me just believe it. God said, finance is going to be restored. Believe it. Healing and miracle coming. You don't have to preach it two time preach. I just believe it. That's why I holler, I believe God. I don't believe no hope, your man, no witch. And no warlock. I don't believe it, so don't bring it to me. But I believe God. And may I tell you one last thing before we take the offering. Anytime you start to question and doubt God, you're in serious trouble. For God wants to be believed. Say it out loud. God wants to be believed. Believe. When it come on to God's business, there must be no doubt. All things are possible. You always wait. Until the marriage is over to give me the best wine. You always wait till I preach you give me the best wine. You give me the best sound after finish preach. With this sound at six o'clock, I don't finish. Fresh oil. It's one o'clock, ten after one. So we're not going over no length of time. So you're drawn out and burdened and draggy and foggy. Fresh oil. After this ministry, you have fresh oil in your body. And if you find out you're all sluggy and draggy and loggy, it means you're not getting nothing out of it. For God said it's the hour of restoration. And if your prayer's gone down, that means you don't get nothing. For it's the hour of restoration. Hold up your ties and your offering. Where's Brother George? You still here or you're gone? Brother George? Go. See, it's a young man I prayed for. You should work with cable and what does I mean cable and wireless. Went to a foreign land. I prayed for him. God gave him clearance. He's doing real good. He buy a car, send a picture, pray bishop. Starting a business. It's a pray bishop. The old wicked them were groping a man and heat me out and take away my sources. They don't remember to pray. He said, Bishop, pray. But him a sinner in the baptized. He said, pray, Bishop. And him come for the first time. Right to temple of praise. He said, can't stay all day, Bishop. I'm going back tomorrow. But you bring an offering and bring a sweet perfume. For the man of God. Come on, Shambhai. Stretch up your offering. New England state, you're the only offering that comes in today. So take all the miracle. Rhode Island, son and my daughter, take all the miracle. So Irish, Florida. Hold up your offering now, no shake nothing like the devil sheep. Push it right in an eyeball, poke it in my eye. Joke him in the eye with your offering. Juke him right in the center. He's a fallen angel. Ooh. 
blind him. Just like wrestling, juke the wrestler's eye and pin him. You can't mess with this devil. Open your mouth, hold your offering before you. Say, devil, you can't mess with this. For in Malachi 3.10, he said he will rebuke. And the word rebuke means stop the devourer. Say, devil, you are a spoiler, a devourer. Stop now. You were doing good. Where you gone? I don't know where you gone. Let me pray a line for my people, all those in line. RTMglobal.org. There's a little station that brings in revival time. RTM Global. RTG. That org. That's where you send your tithes. If you live in Canada, in America, in England, Bahamas, Cayman, send your tithes to RTM Global. Turks and Caicos, Trinidad and Tobago, rtmglobal.org. And Lord, we speak over rtmglobal.org. Every offering that shall come in today to help me carry revival time. Be blessed, be increased, be enlarged, overflow, outbreak every stop order be removed every embargo be removed every injunction be removed from your life your family your job your own in Jesus Christ name I declare it decree it announce it proclaim it in Jesus Christ name give the Lord a praise line up on the right those on the left sit down. Those on the right will come. Right first. Right first. Right side. This side. Come. When we're in Africa, we're going to Africa by the grace of God. I want to give you a little bit of Africa. Hold on, Papa. When you're in Africa, if you don't, if you can't move, now come with me. Because when giving time, when giving time, it's that time you know who have booty here. Who really have booty here? For they shake the booty. And they come and look on, look on YouTube, them Africa. When they're coming through to give. There's a little man that can dance all upon him, back upon him head. When offering time, brother, tell you can't find it. <laughs> Hallelujah! Stand over here. You're the first singers. You must give your offering on the pulpit. Husband, men, and the first leaders must give first. Musicians, put down your music and go give quickly and come back. Sister Rob, take it out of them pay. Let them not pay tight. Deduct it out of their salary. Yeah. See that one here can't find nothing. <laughs> yeah, take it with a joke, man. Hallelujah. Go on. Mm. In the harvest <laughs> fields are ripe. Oh, there is work for all to do. And the master now is calling to the heart. Let's call. A little is much when God is in it. They were not for words or pain. There's no price and you can pay. Yeah. Yeah. 
You're called to labor Seems so small And little to know In the heart And the bustle God will give you A star of crown Oh, little is much Rush up the Broadway in the hurry and the strife. Tell them all, love of Jesus, give to them the word of God. Cause little is not the son of God. God is son, the son. Open up your mind. to tell you things just know things where you was man you hear me talking about you did you hear me talking about you did I call you come let the people see you man don't make me and you have me yeah, man happy for you you hear me talking about your business and talking your business oh you know come up see the man here with me and talk about see I'm short God bless you man 
Just say one word, make them hear your tongue. Praise the Lord. Why, well, I have to give thanks. Give me in a tongue, not bad bunch. <laughs> Uh, after just give thanks for every blessing that's coming upon me. Why? I never really expect when I leave Jamaica seven months ago that I will be flourishing this much. Believe me. But attending this church from 2019, October, 20, I think it was the 19th of October 2019, when we were over that side. And I remember in the November of the same year, um, Bishop said, anyone who attends my church, and within three months, nothing don't happen for you, something is wrong with you. And within, uh, well, mine happened within four months. I can remember. And even within that time, he was saying that, Blessings gonna come your way and you're gonna receive a million dollar. And in that time, I did receive a million dollar. Believe me. And to God be the glory. And from then, my life, everything in my life, whether my relationship with my children, everything, just been soaring to the highest heights. And I have to give thanks to the Most High God and to the man of God. His blessings, his prayer, everything work. And believe me. Trust in him. Anything he says, it will manifest. Believe me. So then. Uh, I am a testimony of that. How long have you been up yonder? Seven months. Seven months. And tell them and in seven months what God do for you. All right. When I first arrived in the States, I stopped in New York. I visited my relatives within that state. Then I moved to Florida. The first, I, I reached in Florida on a Thursday. And the, the Friday, I started working. I started, I started working with a lady of a restaurant. She's a Jamaican. So she said, all right, can come and do my thing. And while being there, after um, I see application at Wendy's, and I applied, I got through, I started working at Wendy's. But that's not where I, I belong. Yeah, no. Okay, I see where them have a cable company, the, the largest cable company within the world. Yeah. It is Charter, but them call it Spectrum, but it's Charter. But it's Spectrum, them call it Spectrum. And I applied. And believe me, I went on three different interviews. Three different. And the first manager I spoke with, him only talked to me pertaining to like working for the company. I talked to a second manager. He talked to me within working for the company. Talking to the third manager. The manager said, but you have over 10 years experience. And I see that you're a well-educated person. Hold on right wouldn't, there, sir. Wouldn't you like to... Hold, hold on uh, right there, sir. How much years experience you have in God? I'm asking the church. How much years experience since you were baptized? More than 10. Listen now. Go um, ahead. So I'm saying, you have over 10 years experience and you're a well-educated person. Come on now. And you you're have coming from 10 Jamaica. years experience. 10 years. Overqualified. Overqualified. Go ahead. And he said, would you like to either to work for the company or would want to have your own business with our company? And I said, boy, I'd rather have more own company still, you know. He said, here what I'm going to want you to do then. You're going to go to the IRS. And you're going to start out a tax registration number with them. And then come back to me. It was a bit of a challenge. It, wasn't it didn't just happen as I go to the IRS. Because I only hear about, read about, and watch racism. But when I... When I actually experiencing it, I, I was very, very shocked to know that it was really that real. Because I only does, as I said, only hear about it, watch it, and read about it. But I actually went there and I experienced this thing with them called racism. And it is not a good thing. Believe me. 
when people are discriminated in a certain way and call you a particular name, which it doesn't bother me. That the name they don't bother me, none at all. Believe me, but I still went through and I still, well, the third time I went to the IRS. Lord said, pursue. Oh, yes, the Lord said, pursue. Your mind. Yeah, the Lord said, pursue. Yeah. And believe me, the third time I went back to the IRS, I spoke with this. She's, she, she, she don't seem she's really the American. Seems like she's from a different country. But she, she recognized her. Just as though the white Americans have privilege, I think everybody should have the same privilege. And she just grant me my tax number. And I saw now, I start my own business. And believe me, it's a go on. Believe me. Because three, it is three months, three months and say, 14 days now since my company is up, is up, is active. And believe me, it is going on. Oh As you see, there. I Hold am on. here. Hold on there. You're up there for seven months. Seven months. So you only spend four months in the wilderness. In the wilderness, yes. Come on now. Yes. And you're going months. to the promised land. And I went to the For promise. your figs. Yes. For your grapes. For my grapes. And for your honey. And for my honey. For your milk. For my milk. For your well. For my well. And for your house. For my house. And tell and the devil I'm not playing. I'm not playing. And you see that I'm not playing. Believe me. You see that. And believe me, I never miss us whether a fasting or a Saturday worship. I always watch that on YouTube or Facebook. Believe me, I never miss it. And I always send in my comment and I always see it come up on the screen. So I know it is live. And I really and truly give thanks for this church. Believe me, it's a really true blessing. And I will never stop. The next time, and I'm saying this forwardly. The next time I visit it back Jamaica, I'll be baptizing. I will make go on say what may I go say. Alright, I'll Come. be bap, I will be baptizing and I will love to marry my fiance, Bridget Beverly Bailey. What should I bring her up here? Come on up here. Come on up here. You old rascal. Come on here, girl. What a way you're happy to see your man coming just for one day. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Bring her up a royal highness. Right as so a girl next yeah, time. So I'll plan on marrying her the next time I come. And Bishop, the same GG Cooper here, will be the one who will be joining us in marriage. Yeah. Yes. God bless you. Give yourself a big hand. Bless you, man. Bless you. God go with you. Comfort you. And bless you. Amen. One by one, we gain it. God bless you, man. Have a good flight back home. Yeah, man. That's right. That's right. Hey. Yeah, just give me parachute from a summer side. Seven months. And some of them for 10 and 14 and 20 years. No grapes, no olive. In the, I'll, I'll bless you and give it to you. No olive, you're on the periphery. I'm, I'm coming close to my 500 marriage. I said, I'm coming close to my 1,000 couple. And do it this time of my deliberation yes, sir. I, I'd like to include you yes sir yes sir most definitely and, and brother Williams yes. and, and what about this couple I'm gonna one month a free marriage one month a free marriage so if you want to get married you, no cost don't care big or small come here sister Jonestown coming up Did you bring him today? Tell him, so help me God, don't make me come up John Stone for him with me, my shit. Come. If you think to me, so marry and stay with me, come serve the Lord. Sister Jonestown, I took in your wedding on Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday? Thursday. No, ch Thursday, mama. I took in your marriage on Thursday. 
So anytime now you can go. And where your girls are? You got two pretty girls. One pretty no, daughter and one, one daughter, pretty daughter. granddaughter. Where are they? They might free them all. Tell them, say, let me come up there with me plenty of O's for them. Don't let me come up there with me plenty of O's. And tell your husband, no, make me drive coming at Jonestown feet. Okay. For me, he's a dangerous man. Me have a him just speakers a back and front and a call out in name. Mm -hmm. tell, him <laughs> tell him how you feel. Take the mic. Let's use a little talking. That's how we talk at Temple of Praise when we're ready. I feel good. God is good to Hold me. up your ring. God is good. Like God is good. Oh, no, so, so. Close God your hand. Good. Close your hand. Like Close so. your finger. Like so. I see you just get married. <laughs> Close your finger. <laughs> You're not getting used to married life. <laughs> I'm going to lift the ring sometime. You didn't know the ring. You know, I'm not used to it yet. <laughs> sometime I left me. God is good. Because since we're in a church, some cause me tell me, oh, me a gospel grinder. Me a this. Me a that. So God just put on the ring and show them, say, me a fear. Yes. When them see me, say, me a look. Them say, yes, God is good all the time. Yes, I go say, say God is good, and then I look upon it, my turn with them head. And say, yeah, when you serve God, God do the things them fear. you. And sure the enemy them say, and him run things. The thing is a nice thing to be in bed. A struggler all every night. Man not touch you at and do and do his thing and you say, may I serve God? No one nice thing. Couple. Preach it. So you can bless your baby, let you go. Welcome today. Temple of praise. The lady, I heard about you. Been through a lot of stuff. Been through a lot of struggle. Is it you? You've been through a lot of struggle. In your life. But God. But God, somebody said, but God, hallelujah. And they brought young children to him that he should touch them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought them. Mark 10, 14. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not. For such is the kingdom of God. For verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. And he took them. Tall man. Baby Amir. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and christen them and sprinkle them no and bless them so today we have baby amar amir stefan stefan fennel only eight months old mm, mark for excellence mark for greatness mm, in the sanctuary today to be blessed and his mom, Ashanti Jones, and father, stepfather, stepfather, Kerry Fennel. Lord said in Psalm 127, Lo, the children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb of his reward. So today, baby Amir, you're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed, mighty God of Daniel. We declare and we decree. Come on, church of the living God. Piety your hands towards Amir. That you were born a baby boy, a male. And you will remain a male. Somebody say male. 
cannot be shifted, cannot be altered. You will remain a male in Jesus Christ's name. You are marked for excellence, marked for greatness. The fear of God shall rest upon your life. You shall grow in increase in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Lord God Almighty, sickness, disease shall not be your portion. You shall grow up healthy, wealthy, and favored by God. And the weapons formed against you shall prosper. Today, the 11th day in the 11th month of the year 2023, we declare you blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And the forces of hell shall not, will not, and cannot prevail against you. Every works of the enemy is defeated from your life. Good God Almighty, we declare Romans 8 verse 28 over your life. All things, somebody say all things. All things shall work together for your good. And you will love God, for you are called according to his purpose. The gates of hell shall not prevail against you. You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. And whatsoever you do, baby Amar, Amir shall prosper. Your leaves shall not wither. In Jesus Christ's name, somebody give him a mighty praise. Mm. Shake hands. Shake hands with your papa. Bless you. You're doing good in your neighborhood. Yeah. Talk. <laughs> yeah. 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 So the Lord bless you, little Amir. You grew up to be a nice boy. Yes. You want something to drink? Drink. You drink it now, but you spit it out. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You'll be a good boy. God bless you. Give the Lord a praise. Good boy. Amen. All right. Come here, mother. Where's your mic? Yeah. What, what, what's wrong with you? Are you sick? Talk to us. People watching. Hey. Eh? Say something about Jesus. I love Jesus. He's very good to me all the time. All the time, God is good to me. I no, love you don't him want so to much. talk. <laughs> but you were sick. Was it you? Maybe I'm mistaken. You're going through a rough time, a season in your life. Yes. What was wrong with you? Don't you don't want to talk. What well, is going through a rough season in your life? But God, but God. Hmm? Yes. here you are today in your right mind, carrying an eight-month-year-old baby. God is good all the time, as you said. God is good. So, Father, we thank you. Thank you, my Father, that you never left her in the pit. And it's a disgrace. You're a disgrace. Thank you for the anointing and for the victory that you never stay in the pit, but you brought her up out of the pit. We give you thanks. Whatever her pit was like situation condition force energy power you brought her out so we give you thanks and we give you praise we give you honor and we give you worship and we ask god that you continue to keep your hand upon him for her on earth and that you can 
continue to show yourself strong and mighty on her behalf. And every gate, every force, every power, every energy that has been oppressing her shall know this day that you are Jehovah. Jehovah is your name. We give you glory and we give you praise. Jesus Christ's name. I'm in Lucia. And let her go. Anoint the gentleman. God bless you, sir. Whatever, wherever, whatever, wherever. Thank you for your service and your help to your family or whoever, whoever. God bless you. We love you. Give them a big hand. Lord God, every oil, every water, every package that has come in for deliverance today receive fire receive deliverance and breakthrough in the name of Jesus let the fire of God swarm them like a beehive bring deliverance and victory to those that shall be anointed in Jesus Christ's name those that shall bring water Jesus Christ's name Amen Mother Wright good to be here today Are you blind? Right there. That's where. Bishop, the, the Lord brought me to. Thank you. You this one, Bishop, I get a fall. Yes. When when I was I, I am ninety years of age. Ninety. Ninety. Come on, celebrate years. ninety. Yes. You can do better than that. You ain't live for 45 Celebrate 90. That's where I'm heading. That's where and, I'm heading. And when and my, my daughter, my granddaughter, was going to make something, you know, they were going to celebrate me at the 90 years of age. Yes. And Bishop? You failed. I get, I, I, I don't, I lift, I lift up. I lift up, Bishop. And true, as I sit down and tell you, I'm not lying before you. I, I was lift up. I, go, I was going to turn half the light to sit down. And Bishop, I lift up, bodily lift up, and throw over. And I drop on my bottom. Bishop, I, I, I don't cry a ball. I was because I alone was in the house. Mm. Alone was in the house. Bishop, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball. And when I finished ball, I said, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And after I said, Jesus, no other word. And I sit down, that's where I sit until my daughter came in. And then she came, my granddaughter came in first. And she run back and she said, Mommy, grab my hand break. Do this and break. And she took me out and take me to the doctor. They bandaged the hand. Bishop, I'm here for a purpose. Because I am blessed. I am a blessed woman. I am blessed by God. I am blessed, Bishop, by God, and that's why I'm here today. Lift up the hand. That's why I'm here today. I said, lift up the hand. I didn't say to hold it up. Lift it up. Lift, up. lift it up. This hand, this hand, God, from the shoulder come down. To, because it is breaking to the wrist, right? In the wrist there. But God. But God. But God. Yes. God. Yes. With his infinite mercy. In the mercy of God. Heavenly Father, the mercy of God. Yes. Why I'm here today. And Stand I'm here feet. to praise God. Stand on your feet. To give God thanks. Stand, Stand on your feet. feet. Stand up. Help her to stand up. You've been following for years. Give her the mic. This is Mother Right. Right to God of Daniel. 
Still looking good. Mother right. I'm 90 years old. The 22nd, the 22nd of April. I am 90 years of age. What a blessing. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. I can't be able to come to church by myself, Bishop. I'm living with my daughter. Where's my 93 year old? She's here today? No. And I can't manage to come to church. And yesterday when she told me that, yesterday when with she long said, life, yes. will I satisfy? Yesterday when she told me that, she taking me to church. I said, thank you so much. What a blessing. And here I am in the church of God. You're looking sweet and you're looking good. Here I am. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing that you're flowing on me. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. For your blessing, Sister thank Secretary. You, Lord. Thank you. How much time to go? Hallelujah. Sister Secretary. Yeah. I don't have anything for today. So let me remind you that rejoice. Got to send off your email this week. Rejoice 23. It's coming up. Give them the text. Let them send a picture. Give them the text. Send it off right away today. How about come? Two. And verse. You don't learn it yet. You're not going to preach. All of you are going to preach. So they didn't learn the text. Abak, I gave you it a couple of weeks ago. What is it? Abak, what? Sit down. You're not looking up yet. You don't even look over your text here. Though the fig tree may not blossom, no fruit on the stone. Hardly fail. Yet will I rejoice. Abak, a tree 17. Yet will I rejoice. We're going to show you when everything fail and crash and cease. Not working. Everything dry up and dry out. Still going to rejoice. Like Job I know. Catch your birds. That my redeemer living. Although the fig tree shall not bless. Neither shall there be fruit in the vines. Labor of the olive fail. The field shall yield no meat. Flock shall be cut off from the fold. No herd in the storm. Verse 18. Yet will I rejoice in the Lord. God bless you. Thank you, Brother Tech. Now remember, we're coming up. We need your Rejoice Convention. Thank you. Thank you. Sister Brown. Lynette Brown, where are you? Thank you for your offering. Sister, take this from me. Sister Brown, where are you? Big Sister Brown. Big Sister Brown, you're not big no more. Janet, you tell me what you say. Talking to your girl last night from Washington State. We had a good time. What is it, Mama? One more thing she have to say. Let's pray for her. Just continue to pray for her. She says she have one thing to say. Go ahead. To finish. You sing the verse of her song. Now, 20, uh, 16, 17, next month. What's coming up? Rejoice. 23. God bless you. We love you. Thank you for being here today. Any new time, any old time, any, no, not old time, any new visitor today. Put your hand, wave it. Come on right here, touch the bishop. When you touch me in a woman, you're touching mercy and grace. You have to come every time, get baptized and start serving the Lord. Come on up. God bless you. Give him a hand. Better than that. Make them feel welcome at your house. Anytime anybody come to you and say you don't love them up and bless them, they're not coming back. So God bless you. Thanks for coming. God bless you. Brother there, I've been calling you and your wife. God bless you. Carry your Bible. Yes, sir. Yes, Bishop. First time you come in? Second. Where have you been? Around. 
Ah, you come. God bless you. Love you. Come on, make this your church home. Walk fast, pretty girl. God bless you. Thanks for coming. Appreciate you. Amen. Your mother? It's your daughter? Mm. 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 God bless you. Come up close to me now, man. You don't know if you got mama and kiss them up in your feet. God bless you. Mm. Who is this now? Who is this now? Your cousin. God bless you, cuz. Come on back. Yeah? Amen. Oh, Mother Wright, sing now. And then we're going. He for the price we are streaming after our labors are born. Rescue the soul will be given on the return Where 
Come on, give her a better round of applause than that. Come on, 90 years old, still going strong. The Bible says in Psalm 92, those that are be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall bring forth fruit in their old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. Yes. Come on, give her one more round of applause. And just two quick announcements and then we go. All brothers are asked to be present next Sabbath after service for a meeting. And all heads of department, choir, drama, usher, praise team. Amen. And secondly, last Sunday was the funeral service for our late sister Aina Matthews. And both Talman, Kevin, and myself we rep represented in the absence of our bishop. So they wrote a letter. Happy Sabbath. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear Bishop Dr. G.G. Cooper, we, the family of the late Aina Matthews, we just want to take this moment to say thank you for your support and kindness. We appreciate it during this difficult time in our life. Thank you for all your thoughts and your prayers. Thank you so very much. We appreciate you and bless you. Almighty God bless you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Bishop. Let's stand to our feet as we go home. What a day today. The word. Devil. Bring back my stuff. Come and open your mouth and say, bring back my belongings. Bring back what is mine. Everything you stole from me. From I was a child. Up until this point. Bring it back. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So the offering, remember, we're still receiving your seed of insurance for protection over your family, over your finance, wherever it is, in whatever bank, NCB, Sajikor, Scotia, Victoria Mutual, Bank of America, Citibank, wherever your money is, some West Fargo, Wells Fargo, wherever your money is, once you have sent your seed of insurance, and here is one coming, God bless you. No weapon. Somebody say no weapon. No thief. No scammer. Shall unlock or touch it in Jesus Christ's name. So almighty God. As we lift this offering. We speak uncommon protection. Favor. Increase. Abundance. Overflow. And a witch. From the pits of hell. Shall come against your people's. Sacrifice. This is a sacrifice. We bless it and we consecrate it and we dedicate it to your work in Jesus Christ's name. So as we go today, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. Lift up his countenance upon you. Be gracious upon you and give you peace in Jesus Christ's name. And let the church of the living God say amen. Until we join you for Super Tuesday fasting. This Tuesday, go with God and He will go with you. This olive oil, Almighty God, will lift it up. We weaponize it for healing, deliverance, and breakthrough. I consecrate it, sanctify it in Jesus Christ's name. It shall be a powerful point of healing contact. 
whatever body it shall go upon deliverance and breakthrough and healing must flow as the person uses olive oil on their food and their water and it enter into their body let sickness and disease dry up and be flushed out in jesus christ's name and it shall be so somebody say it shall be so go with god and he will go with you god bless your online family thank you for joining us for today's powerful message remember the word devil bring back my stuff my assets my properties everything that you stole i want it back now in jesus christ's name god bless you love you